<laughs> like the first two and a half minutes I talked about the painting is the yeah. part where the microphone ah. went dead. Yeah. But you know, yeah. essentially, I think what 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 we just said there is that the, the scriptures are much more like a beautiful painting or a work of art than a mathematical equation. Yes. Sure. They're much more like that. With every with every verse acting as a brush stroke to give shape to the beauty in the painting. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with studying the scriptures from a technical perspective. But sometimes we can get so caught up in studying the scriptures from a technical perspective that we miss the beautiful picture they're revealing. Yeah. Right? Right. We get so caught up in our, our technicality that we miss the painting that's there. Right. And so it's not that it's bad or wrong to study the scriptures from a technical perspective, but we don't want a technical view to veil our hearts to the beauty in the painting or right. to the beautiful painting. We want our technical view of the scriptures to be painting the picture in our hearts, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. if it's not, then we're looking at the scriptures the wrong way. Right. It's kind of like Da Vinci. <clears throat> he had like this this weird technical side and then very creative artistic side that kind of came together as one. And it's almost like a microcosm of God because don't get me wrong, what God has said and done is very technical and logical. And very precise, yeah. right? In yeah. ways that we can't even begin to imagine, right? So there is that. But all that precision, all that technicality, all that just detail, and all of that is to create this beautiful picture. And so all that detail and precision is involved inside of the painting, right? right? The painting can't be there without the precision, but it's not the precision that we want to have our hearts captivated by. It's the painting. Yes. Yeah, right. right? Exactly. Right. And then after we see the painting, then we can appreciate the precision. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You can break it down and see what that guy did to make this painting. Right? right? And yeah. it's a powerful thing. But yeah, I love the, the pictures in the Bible. And it's like uh, connecting the scriptures with the picture, for me, has been the most powerful thing. Right? I know a lot of people who, who know scripture, but they don't see the picture. They don't see the picture, right. Even <clears throat> even God, even not good people that, I don't want to say good people, even people that see the grace of God. Mm-hmm. You can see there's something missing because they haven't seen the picture yet. Yeah. Right? They yeah. see the scripture, right. but they haven't seen the picture they're painting. Yeah. Right? And I, I could say that's where I was. But when I saw the picture, it became, I, I saw the, the words coming out of my mouth changing. Right? I saw how I saw the thing changing, the way I explained it changing right and i saw it led to more freedom i stopped thinking i had to explain to everybody the technical explanation of these verses to try to convince right. them of what it said yeah. i just said you know what i'm gonna talk about the picture if they reject it so be it <laughs> if they reject the picture so be it yeah 